Hey, y'all. I just, you know, um, wanted to come in and talk and just kind of get it out as usual. Uh, um, I know I found out I was pregnant about... I mean, probably about eight weeks ago I found out I was pregnant. And um, I had an appointment yesterday because I had some concerns because I've been spotting off and, off and on, you know, since um, Thursday, last Thursday. Today is Friday. So that was August 9th. So since August 9th, and today is... Um, Was that the night? No. What was it? I can't remember, y'all. My mind's just been all over the place. Whatever. I think that was the night. Because today is the 17th. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, y'all. But y'all get the drip. Today is Friday. Last week, last Thursday, I have been spot I've been spotting off and on. And it has not been regular like I've seen in, like, you know... Uh, previous pregnancies it's 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 been I don't really want to be TMI but you know it's just been a bit much and um, it's, it was alarming so I made an appointment to go in to see the doctor yesterday and you know go in you do the urine sample they do the pregnancy test and I'm, I'm having to peep over <laughs> peep over there at the pregnancy test, you know, to, to just look at the line to see to, the line progression, you know, from when I last took a pregnancy test, which was very dark, popped up very quick, to then, and a very dark line on the test, so I was like, okay, well, I think that's, you know, that's a good sign, um, she did a vaginal exam, she did see you know where um, the spotting that I was talking about she did see a little bit in there uh, she checked my cervix she said that my cervix was still closed real tight um, and you know from what she saw that you know at that point everything seemed to be normal um, so um, I leaned back you know so she could get whatever little device that is that listens for the baby heartbeat um so she was doing that and she was moving around a little bit you know just kind of just taking her time checking er everywhere she could check to try to find the baby heartbeat and I knew in that amount of time that she was rubbing the thing around my belly and hadn't picked up the baby heart, I knew in that moment that, you know, something was wrong, like, yeah, and something was wrong, um, so it was a little alarming to her, so she was just like, let me see if we can get you in for a quick ultrasound, and I go in, and I see the lady, Barb, you know, that does the ultrasounds, now, she's done, you know, my last three pregnancies in ultrasounds, and, um, she wasn't as warm and friendly as she was in the beginning you know like when I first got in there she was kind of you know warm kind of friendly you know the more questions she asked the more questions I answered the more you know kind of stern and firm she got you know <laughs> with me and I and she's doing a little ultrasound and she's not talking very stern focused and so I can tell by by her body language that something was definitely not right um so when I got back to the room and you know she wasn't a doctor she was a nurse practitioner um my doctor that i sit, saw with my last three pregnancies she's no longer here she moved to new orleans so that's a bummer now i gotta find a new doctor but the nurse practitioner she came in and um she said that she had some some bad news and that the the baby that was there did not have a heartbeat Hold on. Yeah, so she was just like, yeah, the baby did not have a heartbeat and that whatever happened with the baby happened about six weeks ago. 
because I was measuring. Um, when she did the measurements of, you know, the baby or whatever, that the measurements were only at about six weeks. And in actuality, I should have been at 12 weeks in development, you know. So, no heartbeat and no development. And um, she gave me three options. Um, she said we can go the natural route and just let my body do what it's doing um, until my body understands that something is wrong with the baby and then decides to, you know, um, I don't know what, 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 what would be a good word or a term for that. My body decides to release, you know, whatever is left in there and have, you know, a cycle. Or I could take a prescription, I forgot the name of it, and it would soften my cervix, and that would be able to release whatever is left. Or I could do a DNC. I'm definitely not interested in that. Um, I think that that would be a little bit more traumatizing to me. I think I'm just, I don't, I don't want to be going through this process. So she said the natural way could take anywhere, you know, between a few days and maybe, you know, a few weeks. I definitely don't want to be going through this for a few weeks. So I think that my best bet is probably going to be the prescription and just going ahead and getting it over with. You know, I had um, about an hour to think on my way back home from the doctor's office and I boohooed and cried all that I could, you know, cry. And I think the, mo the most devastating part about it is that all this time I was thinking that I was pregnant and my baby died and he's just sitting in my womb. So my baby died six weeks ago and he's just sitting there. You know, I think that... <laughs> I think that that is very difficult to process. I, I feel like I've processed it about as enough as I can process it, but when I think about that, and I, and I was just thinking that my whole, whole little developing baby, like what happened? Like, that's traumatizing. And all, all I feel like is he just, he died, you know, lonely. Uh, or she, I don't know if it was he or she, he or she died lonely by their cell and they, they're just sitting there and you know some people don't think of it as an actual you know baby yet because it's still in that development and he hasn't been born and taken a breath but to me he was still a, a life, he was still a part of me, he was still my little developing baby and to know that he He's still just sitting in my womb, dead. Oh, that is just so sad to me, y'all. So I think I'm I'm waiting on the doctor to call me back now so I can let her know that just go ahead and give me the prescription and I can just go ahead and get this over with and move forward. But I my mama, I talked to my mama yesterday for a while, and she told me not, not to think like this, but I really do, in my heart, feel like the most high took this baby for me and my husband, because in the beginning, when we found out, we really did look at this baby as a burden, <laughs> because we were not prepared, and just like, we cannot have another child right now, bad timing, we're trying to get a house. His daughter's going to move down here to join our family, so that's, that'd be what, what's that, I got five, would have been six, she would have been seven, that'd have been seven kids if this baby would would have would have been born, you know, so that'd be seven kids, it's just, it's a lot, and especially it's a lot on me because I'm the one at home all the time, you know, he's on the road trucking and working, you know, so it's, it's just a lot. And I think that that mixed with me stressing here at the house with these, you know, with the kids and all the little things that they do, they've been doing this summer, getting on my nerves. I'm glad they're back in school. Getting on my nerves, fighting, arguing, and bickering. Like, I just like, I don't remember being like that with my brother. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Like, why y'all aggravate each other so much? But, yeah, 
So this has been real traumatizing for me. Um, I just wanted to come in and just talk about that. Like, I know. I, and you know, the crazy thing about it is, like, I've always, like, my, one of my, my good, good girlfriends, you know, like, well, I can't even say that. She's like, she's like a sister to me. She, you know, was pregnant not too long ago, and she miscarried, and, you know, um, another young lady that I know, she's had several miscarriages, and that just seems to be the topic a lot. Like, I hear of a lot of women miscarrying, but um, I've been blessed to not, not experience that up until this point. So, I now understand it is very traumatizing. It is very, it's, you know, heartbreaking once you get used to the idea of that baby coming into this world and shopping for that baby. And I ain't going to even get started on when that baby get here and you get to see the baby for the first time. And it's just, <laughs> you just fall in love. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <sighs> so, um, it's been, been a rough last little, little week or so for me. Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm not... I'm not necessarily, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say that, you know, well, after this baby, I was supposed to have been getting my tubes tied, you know, but, um, I, I, I don't know what, what, what our next step is, what the, the next chapter is for us. I am, um, kind of just like, I'm not really, I'm not, surely not going to be trying, but at the same time, I am not going to be preventing and if the most high just so happens to bless me and my husband again with one of his tiny little humans, I will be grateful and thankful. And this has been a learning experience for me, you know. So, um, yeah, uh, I will accept that baby. I will do everything in my power to take care of that baby in my womb. I will not do anything to destroy my temple in that process. The moment I find out, I'm trying to be as righteous as possible. <laughs> and I want to keep my man healthy as possible. I'm going to try to eat better. I know when you're pregnant, you know, you get weird, kooky cravings. And, you know, like I was telling Elliot, like, Shh. the unhealthier, the better. <laughs> the the greasier, the better. That's the good stuff, you know. But I'm definitely going to be more healthy with this baby. Well, whatever baby the most high decides to give me next. But until then, you guys, I am signing out. What is this? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I got a new phone, so this little stuff be popping up. I ain't figured it out yet. But all right, y'all. I will talk to y'all later.